Hello, it is me, T-Bone, and today I have a working health script for you, Gorilla Tag fan game. To start off, you have to join the Discord, link in the description, and then you're going to go to the health script channel to get the actual script that we're going to be using throughout the entire video here. Then, click the download button, and then drag it to your Unity assets. Then, go ahead and make a cube that you want the damage or healing to actually work on. In my case, I have a red cube here that I want to take damage away from the user. So go ahead and then go to your script, drag the health script onto the cube or whatever it is that you want to take damage from. Now we need a way to display the user's health. So we're going to add a TMP or text mesh pro. So we're going to click the add button, UI, text mesh pro, then click on the canvas, change render mode from whatever it was to world space. This makes it so that doesn't just show on the camera, it shows in the actual world. Now customize it to your liking, you can add a font, do whatever. But then click on the cube or whatever it is. See where it says health status text field, just drag your TMP from your canvas into that. Then change health to how much health you want the user to have. So in my case, I'm going to change it to 10, but this could be 20. This is just the starting health that the person has. So here comes the actual damage and healing part of the script. So you're going to change health damage amount to how much damage you want the user to take after hitting the certain object. So I'm just going to change this to, to 1, you know, for now. Now before we actually run and test it, make sure both of your left hand and right hand controller inside your Gorilla Rig have a spear collider with the radius of 0 0.05, otherwise this will not work, so just make sure that that is there. So then if you run the game, we can actually see that the text has been changed to the actual health variable that we set earlier on the queue, if you remember. It's going to be 10. So then if we grab our left hand controller and we hit it, you're going to notice it goes down. So 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And after 1, after the player reaches 1 health, they're going to die. So actually, if I change this health back up to 10, I grab their controller again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. After 1, they are dead. The same thing goes for healing. If you want it to heal, just change the damage amount to 0. Make sure it's 0. I'm going to change it to green to signify healing, and then make healing amount whatever. So I'm going to make it one in my case. So then if you grab the gorilla rig and touch it, you're going to notice your health, well, it goes up by one. So you're going to notice that the text just displaying dead isn't really helpful. So instead of having it health status that text field that text is equal to dead, we're going to change it to scene manager dot load scene, you know, whatever's inside of this for your guys' script, and then change this from dead to that. And then you're going to notice, just make sure you delete everything past it, that if we save the script and head back on over into our unity here, that if we change this, we change the health, damage amount, or whatever, I'm just going to change the damage amount to 1 here, and my health to 2, just to showcase what will happen. So what this does is going to reload this current scene you're in. So if I just touch it once, and then boom, it reloads everything. The entire scene just reloads. And that's basically how just everything works. And you could do the same thing, you know, if I touch it once, you can see. the int Especially like restarting your game, but just without restarting your game. So, you know, it's one, but then I touch it again with my right hand, and then boom, it's done. So yeah, that's basically how it's supposed to work. If you guys have any issues or problems, go ahead, go into the help channel on my Discord server. Feel free to ask any questions here, and I will respond. Other than that, I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and goodbye.